Ooh, that actually didn't bring any threads out. That brought no threads out. All right, so let's try to take it out. Ready? Go. Yeah. Just a Oh, you're still not you're still not taken out. Yep, I stripped them. I stripped them. That's that's screwed. But anyways, All right, so today what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the brand new Milwaukee Impact Ranch versus the, the not old, but uh, an older modeled DeWalt Impact Ranch. Now, this is still very powerful. It is a brushless motor, XR. It is not that, it's not that old at all. It's just not a new like this one is. Both of these are mid-range Impact Wrenches. These are have very high torque, not as high as their bigger brothers, but that's why they call these mid-range. So the Milwaukee does have a 3 8 inch uh, anvil. I do have a 3 8 inch to half inch adapter that won't cause a drastic loss of torque by using it. It's not like using a quarter inch to a half inch adapter. This just flat out goes, this goes on like that and then you can put a socket on there. So, we, 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 so this will not lose a lot of torque. It probably won't lose any. So one thing, all right, so one thing that you do use impact wrenches for, people use impact wrenches to drive in big lags, all right? It is not smart to do a drill, nor it is smart to do an uh, impact driver because an impact driver can do, can do the job, but you will majorly wear out the tool very fast because it's just too, uh, uh, driving in a lag is too high demanding for the tool. And uh, a drill, which I've proven in many videos, will actually drive in a 10 inch lag a lot faster than an impact driver or an impact wrench, but you risk injury because there's a lot of power behind that. So if you if you slip, that drill's just gonna go whip around and break your wrist or slam against your body. So an impact wrench is ideal for driving in lags. We are gonna do, uh, bust some nuts in this video. I have a crazy test uh, that I wanna actually wanna see when it comes to these two. And yeah, so let's look over the specs really quick. And I do wanna give a shout out to my friend Robert Bates for letting me borrow this. You are the man. It's going to be fun, and I will not break your tool, I promise. Alrighty, so this is the brand new Milwaukee. And so uh, this is the one that has the tri-beam in the front, and the front is completely flat. It is, there isn't like an extra space for the anvil. So I love the design. The design is good. So this is model number 2960-20, 18-volt system. Uh, 2,575 RPMs and 31 impacts per minute. Now that 3 8 inch anvil, which that's all right. Like I said, try LED beam in the front. And yeah, brushless motor, fuel, of course. And so yeah, this does have a couple of speed settings. It has auto. It has speed one, speed two, and speed three. Right now, when it comes to this motor, I love the way it sounds because if it, unlike other impact wrenches, once you stop the motor, you don't hear a really loud noise of the anvil hitting the hammer inside. It's actually a quiet motor. All right, but when it comes to the size between these two, this is the, the mid-range. No, this is the low range. This is model number 2855-20. And as you can see, the difference in size... Uh, about an inch, inch and a quarter uh, longer. It is a little thicker as well. And so, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So, like, it's really for the, for the extra size that you have, you gained three times the power compared to this. So, that's actually amazing uh, engineering right there. So, I love this little guy. It, this is a great tool. 
So that is the brand new Milwaukee half inch impact wrench, mid range. It's a nice tool. All right, for the DeWalt, this is, the, like I said, this is not new. This is sort of old, but it's not old. It's not old enough to declare it bad. This is seriously an awesome impact wrench and I love it. And so this is model number DCF894. All right, so the DeWalt has a half inch anvil with a detent pin and the Milwaukee has a 3 8 inch anvil with a friction ring. So uh, this goes to, it's a 20 volt system, three speed settings. There is an auto feature on this as well. Speed, uh, low speed and high. All right, on low, it goes to zero to 900 RPM. And on auto and high speed, it goes to zero to 2000 RPM. This has 31 impacts per minute. And that is the same when it comes to impacts per minute compared to the Milwaukee, but, but the Milwaukee has 575 RPMs more than the DeWalt, which that's actually crazy for the size. For the size of the tool, that is absolutely insane. Let's do a quick size comparison compared to these two. Yeah, look at that. It's like the same difference between the, the stubby. So yeah, so it so it's good. So this is gonna be a good video. And for the DeWalt, we are gonna be using the FlexVolt Advantage 6 amp hour. This battery has 21,700 cells in it. And for the Milwaukee, we will we will be using the 6 amp hour high output, which also has 21,700 cells in it. So this is gonna be a good match. It is gonna be a very good match. So. All right, let's see what these can do against each other. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. But alrighty, first we will be using the DeWalt. All right, so we're gonna do a four inch lag, six inch, six inch lag, 10 inch lag, and a five eighths by eight inch lag to start, to start off with. All right, so we will be doing the DeWalt first. We're, we're only gonna check these once. We'll check it back at the end of the video. Battery is full. Flex volt advantage battery. All right, so we'll do it right here. All right, right here is good then. All right, ready? Go. Yep, go. Time. Reverse it a tad bit. All righty. So it is now time for the Milwaukee's. Right here is good. It's on speed three. It is on speed three. All right, ready? Go. Time. Holy cow. Wow, I felt that. That went fast. All right, so let's take it out. All right, ready? Go. Time. I'll stop the time proper time too. That is insane. All right, it is time for Milwaukee. All right, ready? Go. Wow, that Milwaukee's fast. That Milwaukee is fast. All right, it is time to do the six inch lags. All right, DeWalt will go first. We'll do these ones right here. All right, ready? Up oh, a little bit more in, there we go. Ready, go. Yep, that's in. Perfect. So it is Milwaukee's turn. Right here is good. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't show you guys. The battery is full on the Milwaukee. My bad for not showing you. All right, so ready, go. Time. 
Good job on Milwaukee. That, that, that Milwaukee is a beast. All right, let's take the waltz out. Ready? I should have zoomed in a little bit. Ready? Go. Time. Milwaukee's turn. All right, so ready? Go. Yeah, Milwaukee's a beast. You can't, you can't argue with new technology. You really can't. That thing is a beast. All right, but next it is time for the 10 inch lags. Uh, I think we'll do right here is good for both of them. I think. No, we'll do them right here. Yeah, we'll do these right here. Right there is good. All right, so ready, go. Perfect. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I just have a feeling that this is going to blow that out of the water. I do not know, though. All right, right there is good. All right, so ready? Go. Go. The Milwaukee seemed to be running consistently at the end there. All right, so let's take out the DeWalt 10 inch. All right, so ready, go. Time, there we go. All right, so it is Milwaukee's turn. That hole is smoking. All right, ready? Go. Wow. Is that a time? Not too shabby. That's smoking too. All right, so let's do DeWalt first. Time for the five eighths by eight inch lag. We're gonna do these ones on this line. This is gonna be a tough one. Obviously five eighths is bigger than half an inch, but that drastically changes what the motor needs to do to drive this in. All right, so ready, go. Is it time? All right, it is time for Milwaukee to do it right here. Alrighty, 
Let's see what the time difference is. Ready? Go. Time. Wow, I, I can tell you right without even looking at the timer, that was a lot faster than the DeWalt. It was. All right, so let's take out DeWalt's. All right, so ready? Go. Time. All right, so this is the last for the log. Then let's take off some bolts. All right, so ready, go. That is a, I'm, that's a beast, you guys. That, that really is. This is a beast. Imagine if they made this technology in their higher range. This is a beast. Alrighty, so what I have set up here, I have these two torqued down to 245, and I have these two torqued down to 200, then these two at 175. So we are gonna use DeWalt Milwaukee, and let's see which one, but we're gonna time it, see which one busts the nut fastest. We're gonna start off with DeWalt right there. Ready, go. Busted the nut. All right, it is time for Milwaukee right here. Should actually be okay. All right, so ready, go. Busted the nut. See, like I said, because these are so powerful, it's hard to make, even if I torque these down to 300 foot-pounds, this will be able to do it with no problem along with the Milwaukee. All right, DeWalt is next. I think this one's one, no, this one's uh, 200. Ready, go. Busted the nut. Milwaukee's 200. Ready, go. Wow, busted the nut. And I believe this one was 170, 175. All right, ready, go. Busted the nut. It is time for Milwaukee. Ready, go. Busted the nut. See, like if to these, that, that's, that's no problem. That's simple stuff for these. All right, so that is the versus video between these two. I do not know what the test results until they are done. The final temperature of them is they're still both cold, 86, 81. Yeah, they're, they're still both in the low 80s. And so, yeah, e even the, yeah. So yeah, so both of them are still cold. The battery life on the Milwaukee is uh, still full bars. And the battery life for the DeWalt is still full bars. So they both didn't use that much energy considering what we just did. Now, if I used an impact driver for that test, it, the, the battery would be different and the tool would be really hot, really hot. But both of these did all that and they're still cool. They're in the low 80s, which is like nothing for a tool. I usually get tools up in the 130s, 140s when I do that test. Like I said, when it comes to these uh, powerful impact wrenches, it's seriously hard to make a test to see what it can really do because you really need to take this onto like a piece of construction equipment so more tests will be coming in the future. And once again, I thank Mr. Bates for letting me borrow this. The, both of these tools are seriously awesome. So I love doing these videos. This video was fun to do. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be no notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.